Before we read the creation story, let's begin by putting it in context. To do this, we need to find out who were the people for whom this story was written. What was their religious life like, and what kinds of gods might they have believed in? And most importantly, what sorts of things did they believe were good or evil? So let's see if we can't answer a few of these questions. To begin with, let's take a look at who these stories were written for and where they lived. In the Middle East, there is an area that historians refer to as Mesopotamia. That name literally means between the two rivers. It's in pretty much the same place as present-day Iraq, and scientists refer to it as the cradle of human civilization, because this is where archaeologists have discovered the ruins of some of the oldest buildings and other evidence of human civilization that exist anywhere on Earth. Now, every year, rainwater that falls in the mountains to the northwest of this area flows down these two rivers and floods the land nearby. This fertilizes the land, making it possible to grow food, which is why human civilization had such an easy time getting started in this part of the world. Now, at the time, the people who lived here thought that there were gods in the rivers who fertilized their lands on a regular basis. Now, in parts of the world where this annual flooding was relatively gentle and predictable, the people tended to think of their gods as being benevolent. They would tell each other stories about their gods that portrayed them as being gentle and good. So every little town or tribe along the riverbanks would make up their own stories and worship gods of their own. Some of these gods were represented as male, but many of the gods that fertilized the soil were represented as being female. And today, archaeologists continue to find thousands of little statues and figurines representing these fertility goddesses. Now, what do you suppose would happen if there were a very large storm up in the mountains? Well, in that case, the flooding would cover a much larger area. When this happened, the entire area would flood, thousands of people would be drowned, and farms would literally be wiped out. Now, when these terrible disasters happened, people sometimes thought that it was because the gods, who ordinarily sent gentle flooding to fertilize the lands, must be angry, and so they had sent killer floods instead. And so, over time, the people who lived in Mesopotamia came to believe that there were many gods. Gods in the rivers, the sun was a god, they believed in fertility gods, and even war gods. Life was seen as a struggle between these gods, some of whom they believed were good, while others they believed were evil. Now, the way that these beliefs were passed on from generation to generation was in the form of stories that these people told about their gods, and some of these stories have survived even down to the present day. If you read these stories, you'll find that they reveal a great deal to us about what these people believed, about gods, about good, and about evil. So what do you suppose these stories tell us? about what people thought about the world 3,000 years ago. Did they think it was a good place or a bad place? And what do you think these stories tell us about the gods that people worshipped 3,000 years ago? Did they believe that their gods loved them? Did they believe that their gods were good or evil? What do you think? <laughs>